Hi there, everybody. My name is Chelsea Nguyen with C Vision Image Consulting, and today I'm going to teach you how to tie a tie. All right, but before we begin, how do you know which ties to select? So there's so many different ties out there with lots of different colors, patterns, fabrics, and styles from narrow to wide. You even have some that are skinny ties and bow ties. But today, for purposes of teaching you how to tie a tie quickly and easily, we're gonna use the CNVI ties. But before we do, I wanna show you how to orientate and get to know your tie. So first off, go ahead and put the tie around your neck just like I have and make sure that the seam side is facing down, okay? You're gonna put it around your collar. And here I have my button um, opened, but if you wanna go ahead and close it, you can, or leave it open, whichever you prefer. So then um, what we're gonna do is, you can see that there's a wide side and then there's a narrow side. And when you put them next to each other, you have wide and narrow, okay? So I have my narrow side on my right hand, my wide side on my left hand. This is gonna be the back with the seam. And then you also have your uh, tie loop, which is gonna secure it later. And then you also have the front of your tie, which is nice and smooth. We have our tie around our neck. The seam side is facing towards our body and the smooth side, which is the top of the tie, is facing out. So you should run your fingers through and feel that. Now you want to go ahead and pull the wide end down on your left side. So that automatically pulls your narrow end up. That should bring the bottom tip of your narrow end at about your rib cage area and right underneath your breast for the young ladies. Then you're gonna move your hands up having them sitting on your thumbs and cross the wide end over the narrow end and right where they meet and create this letter X that you see, you're gonna secure that section and pinch it with your thumb in the back, with your left thumb in the back and your middle and your index finger um, holding the front side. So this is what it should look like. Your right hand should be free, so you should be able to wave at me. And with that right hand, you're gonna go ahead and grab the bottom of your wide end all the way straight out. And what you're gonna do is pull that towards you and move, go through all the way to your left elbow. Make sure that the seam backside of the tie is facing away from you. Then you're gonna drop it down and let it lay there and then really, and pull your right hand out. Now you should be able to wave at me again. Okay, that's free. Your left hand is still securing where that X is. Okay, so don't move that. Next, you're gonna take your right hand, move, um, reaching over in front of you, grabbing that wide end, and then now you're gonna pull it across those fingers, and it should be perpendicular, straight out to your right, and um, just let, just flat out with your arm, okay? So this is how it should look right now. Next, you're gonna take that bottom, the bottom of the uh, wide end. Again, you're gonna pull it towards your body, holding it, and then coming up through your neck hole, okay? And when you do, just go ahead and, and leave that there. Just let it flop forward and drop. Again, wave, your hand is, your right hand is free. Now, we're gonna pick that up, the end of that wide end, and what you're gonna wanna do is now put it into the loop, right in front of those two fingers right there, and between where the tie is and those two fingers, okay? That's where it's gonna go so loop straight through. And then you're gonna still keep your fingers there, but pull that wide end until it makes a knot, okay? So when it makes that knot, you should see that there is the narrow end in the back, the wide end in the front, and then this is when you make sure to adjust your collar, okay? Make sure that that's nice and adjusted, and the buttons are all buttoned all the way to the top. Now, 
you're going to take your right hand, grab a hold of the tie knot in the front. With the left hand, you're going to hold the narrow part of the tie and just start pulling and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And what happens is it's going to move up your neck and you're going to get it nice and tight around, but not too tight so that you're not choking yourself, but then adjust it so that the knot the triangular knot of the tie is basically in the middle of your collar Then you're going to adjust. Okay. Then where you see the seam in the back with the tie loop right here, you're going to take the narrow end of the tie, put it in through that loop. Okay. And usually companies will have the brand name of the tie. Um, and who made it right there. So you're gonna loop it through. So then that way, when your tie moves, it moves all together and it's not like two pieces flopping around. So the way that it should look is you should have the wide end should be longer than the narrow end and it should fall right at about your belt area. And then there you go. Voila! You just tied your first tie.